What's going on guys? Welcome to another player review and uh, today it's going to be another legend and it is the one and only Juan Roman Riquelme and what a player he was. 84 rated as an attacking midfielder, drops down to 79 as a centre mid but uh, he's still got the same brilliant attributes there, good dribbling, good passing, good shooting. You know what you're getting from Riquelme. And when you break down his attributes even more, you've got 90 ball control, 87 dribbling, 91 low pass, 87 lofty pass, 82 finishing, 86 swerve, kicking power 87, body control 80. This guy is just an attacking monster. He's also got a lot of skills to use on the ball as well. Marseille turn, cock behind you turn means that, you know, if you, if you know how to use those skills, it can be very, very hard to get the ball off. He's also got weighted pass and outside curler, which means realistically, if we're on point, if I'm on point today, Rikelme should be bagging some assists. And of course, I haven't used him yet, so you're going to see his debut on this channel. Right then, so we're up against a pretty strong team. Defensively, there's a, a bit of a question there, but once you get into that midfield and attack, very, very strong players, good options. This should be an interesting game. Let's do this. Right then, let's do this. Raquel May versus the world. That was, that was a bit over the top. Oh! Clivert. Through ball to Neymar. 1 0. 1 0. Already. And a uh, little bit of unsung goodness there. Raquel May with a nice little stop and turn in midfield. Set that move on its way. And that's exactly what we're looking for from him. Dickhead! Oh my goodness, come on! <sighs> oh, brilliant stuff. Hulk being played back through. Shoot! Oh! <laughs> Have a word! Have an absolute word! <laughs> that is why... I went out of my way to get Hulk's agents specifically just for that. Yes. Raquel May. Oh, what a brilliant pass that is. Oh my goodness. Those are the sorts of assists you want from your legends. What a performance. Come on. 13 minutes in. Oh, Hulk again. Shoot! Oh, he smacked the bar. We're absolutely eating this guy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, he's resorted to fouling already. It's gonna happen, it's gonna be one of those. Oh, Hulk is through. Hulk is through, he's got two feet. Oh, he's hit the bar again. Look at my great little touch in midfield there. Oh, he's gone in and fouled with Calme. Oh, come on. He's still on the... Well, he's going to come back, which is good. That's positive. This guy's properly diving in now. He's really upset. I was going to say I don't blame him, but there's no need to force injuries. 3-1 at half time, and it's been a good game. It's been a... A pretty easy one in terms of breaking his defence down. And uh, Raquel May had that moment of brilliance. Other than that, pretty quiet from my midfielders. But at the same time, a very assured performance. So let's see if we can kick on in the second half and avoid some injuries too. There we go. Another goal. He's trying to injure my players. Like, it's ridiculous. It's so childish. And, um... You know, he's just helping me make a really, really good video. Oh, brilliant. Oh, have a word. Have a word. Wasn't Raquel May, but brilliant football nonetheless. Tell you what, you guys are getting your money's worth. I mean, you're not really paying me, but... Oh, he's put the pad down. He's actually put the pad down, which is a testament, really, to how comprehensive this has been. Is he going to play? No, nope, doesn't seem like it. Well then, I uh, 
I guess I'll use this time while he's not playing to uh, break down what I like most and don't like about Mikel May so far. He's, uh, he's very, very good on the ball. If you think of, the best way to put it is he's Santi Cazorla on steroids. Uh, not incredibly quick or strong, but the insane amount of technique that he's got means that you don't even notice that flaw to his game. Uh, unless you're trying to get into a foot race with somebody, of course. But um, he's just incredible. His range of passing is phenomenal, second to none. Oh, he's back. Hey, our opponent's back. Okay, well, I'll carry on with this because he's not going to win. He's probably not even going to score here. No, not having that. Whee! He's injured my defender. Nice. Ah, this is getting old. His weaknesses is um, he's poor in the air. Not uh, the strongest either. Anything physical, really. Uh, speed, strength, aerial ability. He just doesn't really have it. But other than that, he's really like... You know, you're kind of archetypal Barcelona playmaker. Incredibly good technically. And um, it makes up for everything they lack in the physical departments. Well, that was rude. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leg, cheat, or rage quit? Which one? Which one? Leg, cheat, or rage quit? I think he's lagging. I think he's going to lag out. Wow. <laughs> he waited till stoppage time. What a cock. But I don't think it worked in his favour because it looks like I've got all of my XP for everybody. Yep, yeah, there we go. I got the victory. His lag cheating didn't work. Yes! His lag cheating didn't work, and that is a victory for us. So, that was an interesting game. It became less about Raquel May and more about just beating that guy. He was a complete dick, really. And um, it was it was a brilliant performance. Raquel May did really well. Regardless, it was a really, really good performance from Raquel May. When he did come onto the ball, he did his job, and that assist was absolutely raw. Would I recommend Raquel May? Absolutely. One of the best players on the game. I'm going to put it out there. I've used Paya, I've used Ozil, I've used Iniesta. I've used, you know, a lot of the best players on this game. And I think, I genuinely feel like Raquel May is one of, if not the best, playmaker on the game. He's absolutely incredible. And he's definitely, he's definitely staying in my team. So just a round up on Raquel May. On the positives, he's incredible on the ball, great passer, he's going to get you goals, he's going to get you assists, and he's incredible at, you know, making space for himself on and off the ball in midfield. On the downside, he's not the strongest, almost anonymous in the air, he's not very quick, and if you're playing him in centre mid, he's not going to win the ball, he can't tackle. That being said, that's not what you use him for, and in terms of his role and what he should be used as in the team i.e. an attacking midfielder or a number 10 flawless absolutely flawless also for those of you who use a conventional false nine i.e. a smaller striker or smaller forward i.e. a smaller attacking player that does that rather than the big target man style that I use this guy is someone to definitely consider because he's got all the attributes that would suggest that he would be absolutely phenomenal in that role right then that's it for this video if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new around here and there's gonna be plenty more player reviews coming for legends and non-legends as well so let me know down below what players you want me to review and if I've got them or if I've got the means to get them I will knock out that review for you and bring it to this channel but that's it for now until next time take care peace